with the tagline, We Can't All Die First, noting the trope of the black character dying first in horror movies. One of many tropes talked about in this horror satire. Let's talk about the blackening. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews It. Welcome to my spoiler-free review for the new film, The Blackening. This kind of came and went in theaters. It is based around a group of friends going on a Juneteenth cabin retreat. Um, and so it was released right around Juneteenth. But um, with summer movie season, movies kind of shuffle in and out pretty quickly. Uh, but it is already available uh, for on-demand viewing at home. So you can check this one out uh, at your leisure. Let's talk about The Blackening here. Before we do, uh, let me welcome you into Dan Reviews It. Thank you for finding this video. We've got a ton of movie and TV reviews posted on the channel. I try to put something new up just about every day. So uh, don't forget to subscribe down below there. Click that notification bell so you get alerted to all my uh, reviews getting released. Uh, and if not, you know, just go ahead and like this video or uh, share it on your socials. That stuff does help the channel out as well. All right. So let's talk about this movie, The Blackening. This is, like I said, a horror uh, satire. So it's, you know, horror comedy spoof movie kind of thing. Um, and it's about this uh, group of uh, black friends going to this cabin in the woods for a Juneteenth sort of, you know, uh, friends reunion sort of thing. Um, and it features um, Dwayne Perkins, Grace Byers from uh, this great show that was just canceled by NBC called Grand Crew, uh, Jermaine Fowler, we've seen him in a few things, uh, Melvin Gregg, X Mayo, uh, Antoinette Robinson, Cinqua Wallace, uh, or Walls rather, and uh, Jay Thero as well. And of course, you know, we uh, we have to have the the token white guy and uh, that is Diedrich Bader from the old Drew Carey show and many many things over the years office space and of course his name is Ranger White. Um and so that all sort of adds to uh the fun of this movie. Look, it is uh, tough to do a spoof movie after the genre was sort of um destroyed, let's say in the mid 2000s with the, you know, epic movie and you know, what were some of them? Um, Vampire Suck and um, all of these sort of movies where uh, the reference to another movie like was the joke, was the gag. I've given so many of those movies Fs and Ds over the years. But some of my all-time favorite movies are spoof movies. In my top 50, you've got, you know, the Brady Bunch movie, uh, The Naked Gun, I'm Gonna Get You Sucka. Um, so there's there's been a lot of really good ones over the years, um, and it's been a minute, I feel like, since we've had um, a, a really good one. This one is very funny. It's, it's a strong entry into the spoof franchise, and it does what I think a really good spoof movie does. It not only is funny, and a good, you know, uh, satirical spoof, but it actually becomes a good movie in that genre, you know, um, like, you know, I always talk about the Brady Bunch movie, but that's, you know, it's a really good example because it is, you know, it skewers the movie really well or the TV show really well, but it also acts sort of as a, a pretty good, you know, extended episode of the Brady Bunch. Um, so there's there's a few in that in that vein um, that really work, and this is one of them. It becomes actually a really compelling horror movie amidst the laughs, and there's a lot of you know funny deaths and and sort of funny um, you know scenes of of people trying to get away or whatever. But in that, it actually becomes a good sort of you know who is the killer and and what is happening, and um, it actually becomes a pretty good horror movie to boot. So um, sort of the main thing about this is these guys all find a uh, a board game called The Blackening in the basement. And there's sort of a, a person, um, you know, watching them through a uh, closed circuit TV. And he's sort of asking them questions about black history. Um, and if they get them wrong, then somebody's going to die and that kind of thing. Um, so this is uh, based on, I guess, a, a short film or, or a sketch or something um from this uh, comedy troupe called three pete and I, I think um Dwayne perkins maybe is a part of that um so this is sort of his brainchild um and he, i know he was in second city he's shown up in a lot of different things but um you know he's he's one of the stars of this um but uh this takes all of these sort of horror tropes and 
uh, skewers them. They they leave no stone unturned. They throw kind of everything that we've seen um, in more than you know a handful of horror movies into the mix. Um, and we've listen, we've had a lot of horror spoofs actually um, over the years. Some are done great, like Cabin in the Woods, for example, um, and others sort of uh, miss the mark. I think um, by partially not becoming also a good horror movie. And like I said, that's what this is. But um, I will say, look, not every joke lands. I think there's a, a few um, that, and they come, you know, pretty fast and, and furiously. But um, there's a few where I'm just like, oh, you know, kind of groan inducing. More than a few, I, I should say. I would say the, the the hit ratio, though, is definitely more hit than miss. Um, there's, you know, some sort of cheesy kind of... Um, character development, I guess, if you even want to call it that in this and sort of some, um, you know, secrets about the other characters and, oh, you backstabbed me and stuff. Uh, you know, I could take or leave that, but I will say that is kind of prevalent in a lot of, you know, young 20 somethings or, or 30 somethings horror movies where there is still that, like, you know, he said, she said, no, we were in a relationship and now we're not. And, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, it, it is sort of keeping in the theme, um, with the, horror tropes and skewering those, but I'm not sure that the character development even really matters in a movie like this. Um, but it, you know, it, it was fine. It didn't detract from the movie. Um, but yeah, this was a really enjoyable time at the theater. Um, I saw this with a, well, I was by myself when I saw it, but it was a small crowd in the theater. I would say maybe there was, you know, 10 or 12 other people. I, to be honest, was probably the only white guy there. Um, but I, you know, I think we were, we were all laughing along. Um, and this is a, a pretty good, entry in the uh, the spoof category. I leave the blackening with a B+. All right, thanks so much for watching. You can uh, see that, like I said, on demand now. It's not really in theaters anymore. That kind of came and went after uh, a couple of weeks. But uh, check it out at your leisure. And uh, we'll see you next time on Damn Reviews It. Bye.